the myth that they're trying to test is if milk can suppress a muzzle flash and prevent an explosion of volatile gas. But with methane, the gas used in the movie, they got nowhere fast. So now, they've changed up to hydrogen. Now in these next tests, we're gonna use the same guns, the 9mm Glock and the 9mm Sig Sauer plus the 44 Magnum. The only thing that's gonna change this time is the gas. We're using hydrogen. It's more flammable, so hopefully one of these will get that gas to ignite. Starting off with a Sig Sauer, they're trying to find the perfect gun and round combination. All right, we're locked and loaded. To ignite the gas without milk, and then add the milk to see if it stops the explosion. All right, filling the tank. Okay, you fire, and then I'm gonna flame if it doesn't ignite. Here we go, in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it just ignited the gas. I don't know, I saw some sparks, but it's hard to tell. I can't tell, I think we need to check the high speed. Always a good plan, as Tori's wishful thinking comes to nothing. The gun went off, the gas didn't. Even with the more flammable gas, it still was not enough to be ignited by the muzzle flash. Hey, we're just starting, we got another gun. All right. So next up is the gun they said they used in the movie, but actually didn't the Glock 17. All right, so we are about to fire a high velocity round out of a Glock into the hydrogen. Now, we saw when we fired it into the methane that the higher velocity round had a bigger muzzle flash, but I still don't think it's gonna be enough to ignite that hydrogen gas. If Tory's right, this myth might soon die with a whimper, not a bang. Grant agrees, and he's worked up a theory. What I think is happening is there's a pressure wave that's pushing all the gas out of the way and the part that might ignite it is never meeting the gas. So, you know what? I think this is never gonna happen. But you know what they say about famous last words. Fudge. I oh think that ignited the gas. Wow. Holy moly. Didn't see that one coming. Oh my gosh, this myth okay. is looking very plausible. I guess I was wrong. There's no doubt that was a blast and a half. The tank is in pieces, and so is the high-speed camera. There is a lot of energy a lot. right there. But did you see, that is incredible. The gas was ignited from the muzzle flash. That's the gun that the villain said he used in the movie. That's right. We just right. blew apart this box, which was made out of bulletproof glass. I was starting to think that it was busted, but now I'm sort of changing my tune. Well, this that is, is if you're cooking with hydrogen. <laughs> All I know is when Carrie pulled the trigger, the blast was so large that I was stunned. I, I, I didn't know what to say. I was just sort of sitting there blinking like, ugh. So they finally nailed the right bullet, the gun, and the gas. But it still bodes no good for that key scene from Kiss the Girls. Well, it's busted as far as the movie goes, because nobody's cooking with hydrogen. But the question is, if the essence of this myth is gun igniting gas, can milk stop that? Uh, maybe we should clean up, reset, and try some milk. We definitely have to take this full scale. But filling a full-sized room would take 75 times more hydrogen than they used in the small tank. And that's way too dangerous, even for us. So the boys have gone mid-scale. Not too big, not too small, and not too shabby. Check okay. it out, Carrie. We made you a dollhouse. Oh, my gosh. Now we're going to fill up with hydrogen and blow up. Oh, my gosh, I want to keep this. That's adorable. She can but it won't be in mint condition. This is way more volatile than the methane. The H in H-bomb stands for hydrogen. The next step is to stick our Glock inside of our small scale kitchen. Then we're going to fill it with the right explosive ratio of hydrogen, put milk in front of the muzzle and fire. Now, if the milk actually does stop the muzzle flash from igniting the little kitchen, we have a backup Glock because we know it can actually do it with muzzle flash. That's a lot more exciting than a candle. In effect, the second Glock now takes the place of the road flare. They raise both guns towards the roof, just in case the ultralight hydrogen settles at the top.
while Carrie rolls out the remote trigger cords, Tori and Grant install the see-through roof and the front wall. And after ensuring a nice tight seal, Fill in the kitchen now, here we go. Tori counts up to 60, which should fill the room with six cubic feet of gas, enough to blow it to pieces. That's assuming the milk muffler doesn't work. This one's for all the marbles. <laughs> all right, kitchen's filled with hydrogen for a minute. We are ready to go. In three, two, one. Yeah! There's no need to shoot twice. Even with milk at the end of the barrel, the flash from the gun made the room go boom. Busted! Busted! So it looks like the milk is not enough to stop the muzzle flash from igniting the hydrogen. They've not only busted the myth from the movie, but also smashed the idea of milk stopping a blast in a room that's been properly primed. I was certain that this was not going to cause the gas to go off, but I was wrong. Oh, we blew this kitchen apart. Yeah, there's shrapnel 25 feet back. Yeah, there is milk everywhere. Clearly, milk is not going to be the thing that stops the explosion. Well, it sure doesn't work with hydrogen. As for the methane, it never exploded at all. So Morgan had no cause to fret in the first place. Sure he had the right idea if they were cooking with hydrogen gas. I mean, we had to go to a gas with such a low ignition energy that it's ridiculous. We're busted on so many levels. In the meantime, remember, it's very uncool to mess with methane or to waste milk.